Detroit Become Human is Quantic Dream's latest game, and much like their other games, it functions much like a choose-your-own-adventure game. Now, the actual setting is set in the near future, just a couple decades out in a Detroit future in which Detroit has become sort of the pioneer of Android technology and really begun taking over all sorts of parts of society, like androids now are the construction workers, the janitors, the mechanics, and so forth. And it also leans a lot of those sci-fi tropes, like can a machine be more than just a machine? Is it alive? And so forth. Now, even though it relies a lot on sci-fi tropes and cliches, I don't feel like the game really suffers for it. It has fantastic writing and a compelling story that really tells a great tale. That's a lot of fun. You'll play as one of three different characters. You've got Kara, Marcus, and also Connor. Now they all have very different backgrounds and very different ways in which their character progresses through the story. They do interweave to a degree and follow kind of the general themes of where the story is going, but they all have very different missions and feels to them. Connor, for example, plays a lot like L.A. Noir. You're sort of a detective trying to figure out what exactly is going on with the deviant android. It is worth mentioning, though, that Marcus just isn't as interesting of a character as Connor or Kara. Kara is pretty interesting as well, much like Connor, but... Marcus just feels a bit more generic in terms of his writing. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this game is very much choose-your-own-adventure style of game. You get to make all sorts of different choices, and you can kill off characters really early on if you screw up and make the wrong decision. And the most interesting part is that the game, after you're done completing a mission, will give you a long, expansive tree showing you every different choice that you made and what percentage of players in the world who played the game actually took your path versus another. And it's really amazing the attention to detail that Quantic Dream has put into this game because there's all sorts of different endings and ways in which the story can flow. You and a friend will have a completely different playthrough than one another. Now it's about 10 hours long and by the time you've finished you'll really feel that this game was more of an interactive TV show or playing your own best favorite Netflix TV show than it was an actual game. And that's because the gameplay mechanics in this game are pretty light for the most part. Now for some people this is going to drive a little bit nuts because you want something maybe a little bit more engaging or a little bit more interactive, but personally I was really invested and interested in the story so it was completely okay. This game relies heavily on quick time events and much like a Telltale game or other Quantic Dream games or Life is Strange, there's not a whole lot of gameplay here. It's very much focused on the dialogue, the characters, and the interactions. It's a very hands-off experience where you make slight choices and quick time event choices that will change the game a little bit but don't really have a whole lot of a combat mechanic or anything like that. Now I'm not always the biggest fan of quick time events but I do think this game does a pretty decent job with them. They're not smashed in your face too much. They're just kind of there enough and they also have impact on the story. They can kill a character or they can cause different effects to happen which is pretty interesting and they're pretty interestingly well done some of them even use motion controls on your playstation which is an interesting and unique mechanic there's also this mode that basically functions as a highlighter it's a lot like the arkham asylum batman mode where you can turn it on and see objects that you can interact with it's not really that big of a gameplay mechanic and really just serves as mostly something to point you in the right direction and then there's this other mechanic which is kind of just a waste and i don't know why they put it in the game basically there's these points when you'll be stuck where maybe you're in con bad or maybe you have to progress like parkour to a new area and instead of just having you run up there press a button to jump up or grab on or maybe just playing a cutscene to get up there instead it'll just have you stand there as a character and then you have to look around and find these points of interest that your character can then go up and you'll have to play through the different outcomes until you find the one that finally gets you up there it's just an irrelevant mechanic and i don't know why they bothered putting it in the game now moving on to the sounds and overall voice acting and music it sounds great and the voice acting is fantastic it is really well done for all three of the characters and the music is also pretty good it's sort of this cyberpunk futuristic feel to it that's really good. And then the graphics in this game are just fantastic. In many ways, it's hard to believe that this game is just a console game because it looks so good. Especially on PS4 Pro, it looks fan freaking tastic The faces in particular are just amazingly well detailed. Now overall, I really loved Detroit Become Human. I felt it had knocked it out of the park, so I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. But I do have to admit that this isn't a game that's for everyone because it's very heavy on the narrative aspects. And if you're not interested in that, if you want something maybe a little more interactive or gameplay oriented, then you're not really going to like this game because it is basically just an interactive TV show. It's got pretty decent writing with a little bit of cliches. The voice acting is great. The graphics are great. And all that is just really good but there's just not enough gameplay there for people who are really looking for something more of a gameplay experience. And if you are looking for that more narrative aspect, then I'm going to highly recommend this game because it's fantastic. Or if you love choose your own adventure style of things where you can sort of choose the way the story goes, then you're really going to like this game because it gives you a ton of interesting and in-depth choices that will really allow you to gear the story towards your particular direction. 